Hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. So I just wanted to ask a few questions about KIU. Okay. Uh, like your experience at KIU. My experience at KIU. Hmm. Mm. Where would I start? Uh, I don't know. I guess I would say it's <laughs> had its ups mm. and downs. You know, I mean, it hasn't been all good. It's kind of like I don't know if you ever get into like a race with like so many people. Obviously, you come in and you quite a number of students so constantly you're trying to like get ahead and trying not to like get left out and get cut out so mm. there's like a bit of that there's like a lot of pressure yeah so you come in and they're like oh these guys look like rejects and then you see that's what's normal you know and then so yeah the whole point is you're just trying to get through yeah without like any retakes and or, like a national exam every other semester so every. every time you do it <laughs> yeah it's just like you're doing a whole different thing for each each and every time so yeah it hasn't been i mean it's been fun though mm. i met some of the nicest people Oh, and, yeah, I've, had like, I've had a beautiful experience, I'll tell you that. It's been pretty mm. bad. Yeah. And all that. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Mm. So I had a few questions. Yes, please. Yeah. What was your first impression when you first arrived here at KIU? Uh, well, <laughs> that's, uh, it's been quite long. Mm. Um, but I was, uh, I was impressed by the structures mm. here. I can really say the property of this place mm. really has invested a lot. You can move around the hospital. The hospital is well equipped. Mm. The structures in the study area, the university, mm. the buildings, the well equipped library, yeah. all those things really impressed me. And uh, uh, I really knew that uh, I had come to do medicine here yeah. after. Oh, that. <laughs> what was your first impression about KIU? When I got here the first time? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I don't know, honestly. I, mm. Personally, I was just blown to be in med school. So, I mean, uh, after my high school, I didn't come straight to uni. So, mm. I took like, a whole gap here to do my own thing. So, by the time I came to uni, I was very excited. Yeah. This is like all this possibility. I was just happy to be in school, honestly. I, think, I feel like I was one of the one people that came here very excited to mm, just too. go to school yeah. and oh. learn. So for yeah. me, I was, I don't know, I didn't know what to think about the place though. I was just like, I mean, you hear you shock up the first time and you're like, okay, I'm going to the farthest ends of the world. It's supposed to be not going to be any fun. There's yeah. nothing fun there. And then you get here and I don't know. Mm. It was nice. I liked it. I liked how quiet it was. I yeah. thought it was like, it's like one of the best places you could be to read. Mm. It's, not like, it's, not like, it's like a conducive environment. Yeah. You know, if you wanted to study your medicine, I would say if you met school, school you needs to be in a place like this one. Yeah. So when I came here, I was excited. <laughs> okay, like what advice do you have for people who are still thinking twice about coming here? About coming like here? Saying, mm -hmm. uh, well, mm -hmm. I, I, I can really say, yeah. uh, this wasn't my priority coming here. Mm. Um, all, uh, uh, I had a number of uh, aspirations, mm. uh, as many know. Yeah. Uh, private institutions are not always our priority. When I came here, I was quite depressed mm. uh, uh, for the start. Mm. But later on, I picked up. Like it's very easy to get here and feel like, oh, I'm a failure mm. and I can't possibly be an amazing doctor. Mm. So the thing is, the books are there, the resources are there, the patients are there. So it's up to you to take the initiative into your own hands. Mm. But if you're to get out of here and be like, oh, I didn't get into a fast choice medical school and there's nothing that could possibly come out of this, then yeah. that's on you. Mm. But then you could also choose to embrace it and be like, I'm here mm. and I have to work twice as hard as everyone else because you're going to get out there and they're going to be people with biases. Mm. So the idea is you don't encourage the biases, you try to discourage them, yeah. you get there and you do the very best that you yeah. Okay. Which advice do you have for a person who wants to join and they're not sure whether they should do medicine or nursing? They're told medicine is long. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, what advice do you have for such? For someone that wants to join and I'm not so sure whether they should do. Well, I can't speak for nursing because uh, it's a medicine that I have done. Uh, nursing, nursing is not a bad course. Yeah. But like, I feel like at the end of the day, I mean, it's long years, but you'll not feel the five years. Yeah. If every semester comes when you have the marks. You have no retake. Uh, you are answering questions on word rounds. You are answering questions in class. You really start believing in yourself. Mm. And the five years, within no time, they become very, very, very minimal. Yeah. And you graduate a doctor, you celebrate, you treat patients in your localities mm. and fulfill your dream. Yeah. Provided mm. you love what you're doing and you really get into it, mm. one day you wake up and you're just in fifth year. Yeah. It feels like yesterday when I started my first year and mm. then now suddenly I'm in my third year. And who knows, maybe before I know it, I will be in my fifth year. So. <laughs> Many yeah. people say five years are too long. But for us who are, who are studying medicine and surgery, 
we actually believe five years uh, at least mm. uh, in, in relation to the content one has to read yeah they are less so that means you have to overwork mm. to read the content in the given time frame of yeah. studying this course five mm. years so resting is very necessary but mm. also working hard and smartly yeah it's very essential okay so, yeah. at the end of the day it's like a i don't know the medical field is at the end of the day a nurse wants to be a clinical officer a clinical officer wants to be a doctor so if you have a chance to go for the medicine i'll say go for it mm. you know don't think about the time yeah just try and enjoy the journey not the end well mm. one thing that can keep you uh, inspired always when you're doing medicine and surgery is uh, if the efforts you put in mm. are really reflected yeah. by your academic performance um, in medical school, it is very common that students get retakes. In some medical schools, there are stipends. Mm. Those academic challenges come with a number of uh, mental trauma. Mm. People get traumatized when they get stipends. Stipends are very expensive to pay for. Mm. Retakes are also very traumatizing. Yeah. When you see your, your, uh, your colleagues progressing or normal progress, without retakes or without being told to stay in a class mm. you really feel traumatized mm. at some point we've seen friends dropping out mm. of school because of depression and trauma mm. due to academic failure one piece of advice i can give to anyone there mm. is to put in the efforts to do the smart reading put in the efforts but smartly mm. to see that you progress without getting those academic challenges like retakes and step -ups. yeah have your priorities straight yeah know what it is that you want from like the dead goal what do you advise people who are who don't have enough money but they want to study at KU? Uh, is there any hope for them because most people end up doing courses like nursing because they think hmm, they don't know that there are very many opportunities out there for them and there's a chance for them to do medicine. What would you let, tell them? Nursing, nursing is not a bad course, but on, on the issue of fulfilling the dream, for mm. someone who wants to become a doctor, um, since our childhood, uh, we have always known that becoming a doctor is very expensive. Mm. Because uh, medical courses are very expensive at the universities. Uh, we all know that. Uh, so. Uh, our primary target has always been studying hard, excelling, to get government sponsorship. Mm -hmm. If you have an opportunity to go for medicine, I would say go for it. Mm -hmm. The years pass by in a rush mm -hmm. and you have no idea how fast they go by. So the mm -hmm. years go by in a rush, you know, blah before you know it. You know, I mean, provided you're like focused. I'm not saying read and do have a good time. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's very important to stay focused on what it is that you're trying to achieve, what kind of doctor you want to be at the end of the day. I don't know, I feel like in this place you have a chance to determine your journey. You know, it's kind of like you come here and it's a blank plate. So it's up to you to either you you get out of here being like a really good student or you could come out being i don't know a quack mm. or something like that it's like you decide you make a conscious decision no one is going to push you mm. the best way to, to to fulfill your dream of becoming a doctor is to make sure you excel in high school to get a direct government sponsorship or even if you don't absolutely excel make sure you get the good marks mm. such that you can qualify for being that course if an opportunity is available so that calls for hard work to acquire the uh, the cutoff for medicine and surgery mm. then for those students who may miss government sponsorships uh, i want to tell you that there are so many opportunities outside there at the moment the government has introduced uh, higher education students financing board mm. and this board issues government students loan these loans are issued to students who who wish to offer courses that add value to the nation mm. and among those courses are the medical courses so uh, anyone outside there with the cutoff points and can be admitted at a given accredited university mm. apply for students loan and study there are so many students who are studying on students loan and it's, 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 it's very benefiting oh. then there are quite a number of other scholarships like mm. the state house scholarship they are there Students are being paid for tuition until the end of their courses, mm. like given accommodation facilities, research money, and everything. So all you need to do is to look for information on ground, how to apply and apply mm. for these scholarships. Yeah. There are quite a number of others. 
like Mad Van Scholarships at this institution, Kampala International University Western Campus. Uh, the appropriate of this institution offers half bursaries to students who have qualified for medicine and surgery and other medical courses here, mm. but do not have the money to pay the full tuition yeah. for medicine and surgery. They're usually given 40%, mm. the university pays for them 40%, then they pay 60%. Mm. Then there are those ones who are given 100% scholarship, mm. and those ones who are given 50% scholarship. Yeah. So it's all about looking for these scholarships. Mm. They are there. Don't sit there home with your good points uh, because there is no money at home. Try to look for these scholarships. Many of us are studying on these scholarships and I can really tell you they exist. Mm. So all that is available, mm. it's just for your choosing and you're taking it. Oh, just like, how, how do you feel now that you're leaving KIU? <laughs> of course, uh, of course it comes with a lot of challenges. Mm. Um, I can't say that I feel so fine, I can't say that I feel bad. Mm. But uh, the, good, uh, the good thing is, is that we are progressing with the course. Mm. Because here at KIU, by the time you start going for communities, you feel that you, you you're about to finish the course and that gives me joy mm. um, however it comes with a number of challenges just like i said yeah. because we are going to a new site we don't know that we are going to meet there yeah we don't know um i don't know how the place is yeah. um uh, more so for us students who are, uh, we have financial constraints mm. <laughs> i am excited about community but mm. then also i am a bit apprehensive about it because obviously i've been here for the last three years mm. so i'm used to ishaka i'm used to how things work i know where to get the good food yeah. the cheap stuff like when i'm broke i know oh, you yeah. know i have like a rolex guy you yeah. know the one that's like your chips cheek mm. there's a shop guy like you know on like bad days yeah. so like going to community is like you have to start all over again and it's not you know quite like a student environment so you know just kind of have to like meet all these new people so yeah it, it presents its own challenges and i have to like rediscover the fun places and over again yeah i have to come with like a wall fun new routine <laughs> and mm. yeah i mean it, it's exciting and then also but then i'm also going to be in a real hospital dealing yeah. with the actual i don't know a number of patients because there are a lot more patients in community you get mm. to do a lot more stuff yeah so it's, exciting. So mm. it's quite challenging but we have to cope up with it now. I can say that uh, by the time by the time you leave the, the training of this hospital, you can really say that uh, you are becoming a doctor because uh, you are going to receive all the cases. If you're on what, you handle, you do the procedures, mm. what you don't know, you go back and read and yeah. all that. So it's, yeah, it's, it's quite challenging sometimes because uh, you, you are going to meet cases on the what, which you don't know. Mm. But as a medical student, when you go back to your room, you sit down and read about a case mm. and uh, anything that challenged you on the word, the questions you didn't answer well when your seniors were asking, yeah. so it becomes your take home when you go to your room. Okay, <laughs> yeah. What advice do you have for people who are just joining KIU? For who, who are just who, joining? Yeah. KIU in particular, not medical school, yeah. just KIU. For people who are joining KIU. Mm. Anything say, that you need to tell them. <laughs> I would say at the end of the day, mm. there are lots of students. That's just how the system works. Mm. You come in very many of you. And chances are, half of your classmates are going to be gone before you know. So you have to work hard yeah. to make sure that you're not the person that is gone. You know, yeah. let it not be for anything academic. At the end of the day, it's not impossible. It's not hard. You just have to know what to do. You have to search the right people. Yeah. It doesn't even mean that you have to spend every waking hour in the library. But just uh, up to this point, I've come to realize mm. that studying medicine and surgery is individual best. Mm. No matter where you are, if you don't put in efforts, you don't become the kind of doctor you want to be. Yeah. Whether you are the best university in the world with the best facilities, as you, the student, if you don't put in the efforts necessary, you, you will not become the good doctor that people will be talking about wherever you go. Yeah. No, you have to put in the work. You just mm. can't sleep through it or watch your way through it because yeah. you're competing with all these people. At the end of the day, they want the cream of the cream. So mm. you have to make sure you're in the top. It all begins with personal efforts. Mm. Believing in yourself, commitment, and the consistency. Yeah. That every day, you have a task to do that you ought to fulfill. Yeah. When you do that, you'll become the doctor you really want. So it's individual based, no matter where you are. We read the same books. So it's, it's, it's always all up to you to put in the efforts. It's all about individualism. Mm. Okay. Oh, like what advice do you have for a person joining that year right now? A person joining that year right now? All 
young ones there who are dreaming to become doctors one thing i can tell you is that it takes a lot of efforts commitment and living almost the rest of other things for yeah. you to become a doctor mm. because this is a very integrated course you live to inspire others that's mm. that, that, that's one more interesting thing about it uh, sometimes of course uh, it's not always about getting the money mm. uh, sometimes you're going to work on patients who don't have money but as a medical doctor you feel happy when your patient mm. recovers from a terrible illness yeah. and that gives you joy <clears throat> every day that's what that's what we live for medical doctors like on a scale of one to ten uh, what is the rate at which people have been dropping out on average I may say about three out of ten students mm. drop out of the course because of a number of issues yeah. finance and academic statements mm. well there are quite a number of challenges people face here mm. um, one of them is finance that is very evident mm. because uh, we are living in a society where a majority are poor mm. um, um, the other one is academic academic setbacks mm. just like i've explained earlier mm. retakes and staples yeah according to you how would you describe your stay here my stay yeah uh, well my stay has been uh, uh, i can say it has been promising uh, well uh, you can't avoid uh, certain challenges. As students here, we are not working. Uh, some of us entirely depend on money from home. Mm. And uh, home may not always be stable. So that means at, at some point you may lack mm. as a student. And uh, that can uh, somehow affect your academic mm. progress. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I can say my stay has been really good academically. Mm. I've been doing well i've been reading and i've been excelling mm. and uh, i really think i'm going to make a very good day. yeah would you rather discussions or personal reading personally i'm a discussion person um. I, feel, I feel like you started to get that because i talk quite a lot yeah. <laughs> for some yeah. reason for me it's very easy to remember things that uh, someone said you know if i discuss with someone and we probably had an argument about it when i'm in an examination mm. i would be like oh i said this yeah. this person said this with cross with friends with this textbook so personally mm. discussions work but personal reading i know people that have done personal reading they've not discussed a day in their life and they've excelled so yeah. I feel like it comes down to the person, what mm. works for you. But personally, I'm a discussion person. Mm. Obviously, I combine both personal reading and discussions because yeah. you can't discuss what you do not know. Yeah, exactly. So I do a bit of both. Oh, what final message do you have for medicine students, any student, nursing, medical students generally at KIU? Okay. Mm. Well, generally, uh, the message I would wish to send to uh, colleagues, mm. uh, uh, one uh, in year one, we study medical ethics mm. and that is very fundamental in the structure of our course during school and during practice mm. for us to have a, a, a smooth uh, practice of medicine yeah. or training of medicine we have to follow medical ethics yeah um, KIU is a private institution uh, but I, I can tell you uh, all of you wherever you are Uganda and the rest of the world is mm. that uh, there is good work being done here mm. at the hospital and the university itself. The, the staff is well equipped. The number of professors here are quite uncountable. Mm. So this gives students who are being trained by these professors a chance to learn from a variety of yeah. these experts. Mm. And that cannot be found any, uh, rather everywhere in the world. All I can tell you is that do what you have to do at the right time mm. you'll become a very good health worker wherever you will go mm. so don't be discouraged continue doing what you do yeah. in the end you'll become a very good health worker and wherever you go mm. people will always appreciate and, and will always add value mm. to your institution okay would you love to tell people where to find you in case of anything <laughs> well, okay like maybe your social media in, well, in case of any questions in case of any questions uh, my yeah. social media platforms on facebook i use masembe francisco as my name mm. on twitter 
it's uh, Masembe Francis one. Uh, that's my handle. Mm. Uh, uh, basically. Oh, those, that's those, it. Eh? Yeah, those oh. are the platforms I use. Okay, thank you so much for this wonderful information that you shared with us today. Yeah, thank we are you. so humble. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. so good. Thank you for sharing with You're us. Welcome. Yeah, it's, it has been a pleasure. Mm. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for having me here. Yeah. Bye. Bye.